Welcome back folks, it is Crazy Waldor and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys my newly redesigned PC case. You can see in the old one there I've got um, you know my big case and I'm going to be moving that into the smaller one. Now the case on the left is the Antec 1200 case, the case on the right is the Fantex Evolve X and you can see in here that it's pretty tightly packed. I've got my Reven dual tower cooler in there. Um, you can kind of see it's, it's a little bit difficult and I again apologize for the potato quality my camera here was not cooperating at all um, You can also see that um, there's my beefy graphics card. This is the RX 480 um, And it's got the Ryzen Tech cooler on there with 220 mil fans There's my PSU this one. I believe is the 850 watt great quality PSU. I've got my hard disks right there um, you know all of it's kind of a jumbled mess in there, but for the most part it worked and it worked pretty good as a rendering rig but now um, what I want to do is actually take it and put it into this Fantex case so that I have something that is actually a lot more slim um, a lot more compact and that I can also take with me should I need to um, because it's just a lot easier to carry around so that's um, you know that's the two cases and you can see that the form factor is a lot smaller so now the kind of more or less final result is going to look like this um, you can see here that um, I've got the motherboard mounted kind of off on the side. Uh, I've got these little metal constructor pieces that hold everything together. Um, so that's sort of how it hangs on. Um, you can see there's little rails that I've put them through. And so there's two on each side right there. And I've got a little kind of longer screw that holds it from the other edge um, to kind of maintain everything and just make it, you know, more or less uh, on par and parallel to the rest of the case. Um, so that's basically how the motherboard is going to live. Now you can also see how I've mounted the power supply. It's mounted vertically. Normally this is where the um, micro ITX motherboard or mini ITX I believe would go. Um, so you can see there's a fan also kind of semi cooling that and um, I've got uh, more or less everything kind of tightly packed and that leaves a lot more room for the graphics card down in here. Um, you can see the power cable is just kind of hanging off right there for the motherboard as well. So you can see that one is just hanging on in there. So you can see the uh, the task that I had in front of me in terms of moving the case around. Um, you can kind of see that it's a really, really big case, um, really full of stuff in general. Um, you can see the Reven dual tower cooler in there, and you can see everything that I had to move as well. So here's a closer look at the inside of the case. Again, you can see um, basically the jumbled mess of wires in there, the um, the Reven cooler, and also you can see the giant top fan for the Antec 1200 case. Um, and then as you can see that this case cooler is actually pretty, pretty beefy, so it's not gonna be able to actually fit within the new confined space that it's going to go into. So again, there's the cooler just to give you guys an idea of just how massive that thing is and the reason why it's not going in there is because I really just don't have the space to physically fit it into the space it's going to go into. So what I ended up doing is I ended up actually putting the Wraith cooler from my other CPU on here. Little known fact is that the mounting brackets pretty much don't really change between the FX processors and the newer processors, so you can kind of reuse those and mount them as usual. So here we see the case. Again, you can see that, you know, for the most part, it's kind of taken apart. I've had to actually also kind of take apart the GPU holder or, you know, the GPU mount so that I could put it in a slightly different location to actually mount the GPU. And you can also see I took the little case cover off that normally sits sort of above where the PSU would be. Then the next part you can see in here is I mounted the Western Digital SSD, the Velociraptor, basically vertically. Um, probably not the greatest thing for the hard drive, but for the most part if you don't rock the case too much or move it while it's operating, this is not really a big deal. And it slots in there perfectly actually, there's not a big problem putting it in that way. Next up you can see what I ended up doing with the SSDs. They're mounted along this side of the case. Um, in particular these SSDs are the Samsung and the SanDisk ones. I don't remember the model names off the top of my head but here they are um, and ideally I'm going to be mounting some more SSDs in this case vertically as you know time and money permits. So here you can see more or less the final result now from the side. 
I've had to basically leave two panels off one of the front panels and the side panel to be able to actually mount the motherboard. Um, now you can see at this point I have the um, cable for the motherboard off to the side as it makes it a little bit easier to kind of see what the case actually looks like and the way it was built. And then here you can kind of see it from another angle and see how it's mounted and you can actually kind of see that it still doesn't really take up that much more space. Um, it generally looks fairly compact and it works fairly compact as well. Um, the only problem is the CPU doesn't really have enough room to really do any sort of major cooling unfortunately. So here's what it looks like from the other side with the glass panel installed. You can see the graphics card is mounted vertically and it is basically kind of zip tied in place. Um, and then the power supply is kind of directly above that. And obviously the motherboard is on the back side of this case and it kind of sits there pretty much permanently. Now what I realized um, kind of as I was building this thing is that I actually still kind of have this thing taking up a little bit too much space with the motherboard sticking out. So the final form that this will take is actually by going into a thermal take case um, because that just takes up a little bit less space and that way I can turn it into a LAN rig that I can take to my friend's house as this thing is still a little bit unwieldy to take around. It's It takes up less space in the house, but it's not the most ideal to take somewhere when you are on the go. So again, this will be moving. But I'm still going to keep this case um, for using as basically a NAS storage in, in essence. So what's going to happen is I'm going to have basically a different um, motherboard in here, an actual mini ITX motherboard. Um, and that one's going to be connected to a special kind of card that allows me to mount multiple um, SATA hard disks in here as I'm never really going to be able to saturate um, something like, uh, you know, an NVMe SSD with the links that I currently have, which, you know, the maximum I have is a 10 gig link and my other machines um, also only have SATA SSD, so they would never really fully saturate anything more than that. And that's going to be fine. But for the most part, this thing will um, live on with a different motherboard as I realized, unfortunately, a little bit too late. So that is my quick build, everyone. If you like the video, you know, of course, go ahead and give it a like. Um, ultimately, if you want to see more build videos like this, or if you want me to do it more of a vlog style, um, please, again, let me know. I'll be doing another video build of the final form that this case is going to take and also, you know, ultimately what it looks like and what components I used. Um, I basically figured out that I'll need to be doing some water cooling um, to fit it into the smaller form factor case that I recently got. And um, there's also gonna be some, some power supply issues I gotta sort in terms of cabling to get it up and running. Once I do though, I'll be doing another video on that. So you can see my build log on that particular machine and uh, you'll see kind of how cramped everything actually turns out to be. So until that time, um, you know, hang out and uh, watch some of my other videos. And if you liked this video again, um, you know, feel free to let me know in the comments below so I can keep making more of them. So until next time, folks, I'll see you around.